Good morning. Today we're going to talk about finding the area of rectangles, squares, and triangles. So rectangles and squares we worked with before. We use the formula of length times width, which equals area. We abbreviate length with an L and width with a W, and area can be abbreviated with an A. If we look at this rectangle, we have the length of 6 meters and the width of 4. We would do 6 times 4, which would equal 24. Don't forget to give meters squared. When you're on the computer this week, the squared will be the hardest part to put in. You can use SQ to abbreviate for squared, or you can write the word squared at the end. When you're looking at a square, an actual square that has all four of the equal sides, you can use the formula for a rectangle, but sometimes you'll also see an area, um, an area formula that is base squared equals area. Base would mean any one of the four sides. So we could do 2 to the second power, which means 2 times 2, which would be 4, and it would be 4 centimeters squared. When you have a square, you can use either length times width or the base squared formula. Now we're going to talk about triangles. Triangles are very similar to squares and rectangles, but also very different. When we're talking about triangles, we have two formulas we can use. We can use half the base times height, or we can use base times height divided by 2. Either formula will give us the same answer. When we are looking at a triangle, so let's say we have the triangle here. We have 3 centimeters and 6 centimeters. When you think about a triangle, we have to either multiply by half or divide by 2 because a triangle is actually half of a rectangle or a square. So if we have used this first formula, we have half. The base is the part that it sits on. We would abbreviate the base with a B and height with an H. So the base we just said was the one it sits on, so this would be 6. The height would be 3 and half. So if we take, multiply half by, three, by 6, we would get 3 times 3, which would be 9 centimeters squared. If we use our other formula of base times height divided by 2, we would still get 6 times 3 divided by 2, which would be 18 divided by 2, so 9 centimeters squared. As you can see, you can use either formula to get the same answer. Have a good day.